ripping her. <laughs> Remind me not to touch these branches. <laughs> you could prune that branch, babe. <laughs> I'm not pruning any of these branches. I thought I'd show you guys this really awesome tomato. It's called an orange currant tomato. And it only gets the size of currants. It's, they're so tiny. I just love them. I think they're so cute. And I hope I get enough of these to get a whole jar to can. Because I think they'd be so cute canned. But what a great little tomato for salads. They're so, so tiny. These are about the size they get. <laughs> I love it. Here's one that's almost ripe. Isn't that cool? Here's a couple that are, this one's like way past ripe. I'll probably seed save it. But here's one that's ripe. Let's try it out, see how it tastes. Mmm. Wow. That was super sweet and jam packed with flavor. I really like that for a tiny tomato. So every so often you'll want to come and check out your squash plants and look for borer vine eggs. This is what they look like and you want to get them off your leaves before they hatch because once they hatch they'll dig into your plant stems and they'll end up boring through the stems and killing your plants. And they can be on the back side too so check the back sides as well. See, there's some more right here and you just rub them off when they touch the hit the ground they end up dying because I'm not sure why they just they die if they're not on leaf so I just like to check all of mine because I hate these things but another tip to beat boar vines if you don't want to have to do this is when your plant starts vining and laying down like the main stem just bury it with soil and what will happen is it'll keep growing and it'll keep rooting into the ground. And so if a borer vine does get to it and does chew its way through, it has multiple areas where it's rooted in and it won't kill the plant, at least not all the way. You can tell when they've been on your plants because you'll see this. Sometimes they leave this like yellow powder behind. You can see this one got into the middle of the leaves. They're sneaky. I'm gonna get all of those off. Sometimes I'll grab a like a toothpick or something so I can get in there. But you do end up sometimes tearing up the leaves a little bit, but I'd rather tear the leaves up than have borer vines. The Rose of Sharon is gorgeous right now. This was just a tiny little plant when I first planted it. Planted two of them, but Garrett ran over half of that one, so it's sm that one's smaller than this one, but it used to be about this big. And these will get as big as a crepe myrtle tree. So, really cool plant. And then this one, I forget what this one was called, but it was blue something, blue Rose of Sharon. Really, really beautiful purple. Make sure you eat up all that trumpet vine. <laughs> Did you get it, Lady Carrot? Did you get it all? Uh -huh. Where are you? 
going? Willow. Willow. She's like, I'm going to get some of that green grass over there. <laughs> I think she got some red ants on her paw, on her foot. There you go. Need some help? He's like, oh, I'm moving on. Oh my goodness, look at those pretty lashes. Look at those eyelashes just wasted on a goat. They wasted those lashes on you. Mm-hmm. Come on, Lonesome. Go be with the big the big ducks. Come on. Go in here. Go on. He wants to be with the big ducks. This was our lone duckling that we hatched. He was the only one to hatch. He thinks he's gonna be with the big guys. Let's go. Oh look. <laughs> the older ducks are like, nope, not yet. Too young. Oh, he can be in there with you guys. Be nice. But they don't want him to go in the pond. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> They're like chasing him. Aww. <laughs> you got a treat for him? <laughs> baby, the brown one. Still has the umbilical cord attached. Come here! So many new babies. girl. Yeah. You're just super close. I can almost pet you. Come here. It's like I got a scratch. She was rubbing on that stump earlier. That one had a maggot on it. <laughs> it's so good. We should probably just pluck these red ones off before the birds get them. <laughs> just kidding. <You're> dummy. <laughs> hey, hey. What you doing with those berries? I give these to the goats. Aww. <gasps> That's 
your favorite thing, Whitaker? Is it what? What? Let mommy try. Let mama try. No, what about you? What? It's delicious. Oh, not your favorite anymore. <laughs> These were their favorite. Her his favorite. Here, get some ASMR with the rabbit. Hmm. We've got fairies. Who wants a fairy? What about you? You want one? <laughs> Cindy likes them. What about Hopper? What about Hopper? Sindel, your face. Look at your face. <laughs> well, she's enjoying it. She likes looking at ice, too. <laughs> Here's my buddy. Just one at a time. He's a good boy. Want some Willow? Come here. That's it. That's it for tonight. My sweet babes. My sweet babes. I got no more for you. I got no more. <laughs> Go eat your food. I'm sorry. <laughs> Willow especially loves animal crackers. <laughs> There's none in that hand either. <laughs> There's none in this hand. And then Mama Hen is in here with her babies. She's decided to live in here at night. <laughs>